Hey gang, thanks for joining us. Uh, go ahead, you can start uh, without me. I'm putting some Visine in the eyes here. You're like, what are you talking? What do you mean start without me? <laughs> welcome, welcome to our channel. Welcome to the show. It is a Sunday in July. That means it's a car show day. So if you're catching us before the car show, great, fantastic. But every Sunday on this Corvette channel, it is coffee with Conti. We share everything and anything and all things Corvette. It's good to have you guys here. Mm. Boy, that's good. So today on the show, I have emails from many wonderful people just like yourselves. And you're going to be amazed and you're going to see it truly how small this world really is. So thanks for watching today. More importantly, thanks for listening. It's viewer mail on today's Coffee with Conti. It's been a long week and these eyes are tired, worn out, and they're bloodshot right now. So you guys stay back there and uh, let's jump into it and share some of these wonderful emails. And I really appreciate the people taking the time to send the feedback. And these are just a few I'm going to share with you today. My goodness, we get so many and I'm so thankful for that. I really am. Hey, Rick, it's Marsha and Ralph, and we hope that you're feeling better these days with that beautiful new Corvette, a non-business related proposition for you. We'd like to offer you and a guest, whether it's you and your son, Ryan, you and Chuck, or you and your wife, an all-expenses-paid trip to the actual Ponderosa. If you can remember the map and the opening credits of Bonanza, that's literally where we live. We could take you to Virginia City, gorgeous Lake Tahoe, and what Life Magazine called the loneliest road in America for a high-speed run in the Corvette, or hop in our dirt Corvette off-road Can-Am among other fabulous and historic activities. Mark Twain lived here, the Pony Express ran here, and Marilyn Monroe made movies here. We'd fly you out to Reno Tahoe Airport, pick you up, spend a couple of nights here, dates of your choice, including during the week if you need to, because that probably works out better for you. No pressure either way, we still love you regardless, but we wanted to offer something different to you. Take some time, think about it, and please share your thoughts. We love you, man. Ralph and Marsha from Nevada. I love you guys. Thank you. That won an offer indeed. Thank you again. Well, am I going to take them? I don't know. I might take them up on that. When am I going to get the time off? <laughs> I know. I keep... I just, I just, oh man, I just, this job is relentless. I just keep chasing, chasing, chasing. And I, I, I love being here with you guys and for you guys. But I do need to learn to, 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 to take that time because um, I know, I know, I preach it all the time. Tomorrow's not given. Make every day count. I know, I know, I know. But that's, a, that's an offer. I'm like, boy, I need to, I need to do that. I, I probably will do that. This year's been so weird. I don't know if it's going to be this year. Viewer mail continues now. Thanks again, Ralph and Marsha. Viewer mail continues on today's Coffee with Conti. Here, here we go. Uh, we started it a few weeks ago, and it seems like every week now we're talking about vanity plates on your Corvette. You guys will like this one. Hey, Rick, here's an updated picture of my two Corvettes. I told you the story earlier of my young children how they thought the real name was Quarter Vet since I always saved quarters to buy one, thus the license plate QTRVET. Living in northern Michigan, you need an all-wheel drive car for the winter, so I purchased a newer Subaru Outback and I had to go with the Vet theme, so that car is my Winter Vet, thus WTRVET Winter. Okay, I get it, Winter Vet. I hope this brings a smile to your face and your viewers as well. It really did, man. That was that was, yeah. I don't have to look at that and dissect it to figure out what the heck it means. You kind of get that one. All right, that's a good one. Steve in Maple City, Michigan. Thanks for watching the channel. Oh, now this is a neat one. I think you guys are going to like this one. I think you're going to like them all today. Thanks again for watching and listening to our viewer mail segment on Coffee with Conti. Rick, my husband Jeff and I enjoy watching the channel. You share a lot of useful information and we thank you for that. I thank you for watching and all your support and taking the time to send these kind words. We met you at the National Corvette Museum on that Tuesday when you were picking up your 23 Corvette. Congratulations, by the way, on the new Corvette. And we want to thank you for the free t-shirts, the poster. We also want to thank you for taking the time to talk with us and take a picture with us. Believe me, it was really my pleasure. Thank you. We have a Corvette story for you that we thought we would share. After an EF4 tornado tore through our town, a 100-pound golden retriever showed up at our house. Unable to find his owners, we kept him 
and named him Hank. Probably because of the tornado, Hank is extremely scared of storms. One day, we heard thunder, and Jeff looked out to check on Hank. He'd come into the garage, and then he jumped on top of the 2017 Torch Red Corvette. Jeff, Jeff yelled, get off the car. Hank started moving his feet in panic, and he made more scratches on the Corvette. Fortunately, a local body shop was able to get the scratches out. Since then, we've traded that 17 Red Corvette for a 21 Shadow Gray Corvette. We still have Hank, but Jeff now keeps a car cover on the Corvette unless he's driving it. <laughs> Here's a picture of Hank. Yeah, it's cute. And thank you again for all the information that you provide on the channel. <laughs> Thanks again. Your Corvette friends, Cindy and Jeff. <laughs> that was cute. Thanks, you guys. I'm glad you still have Hank. All right, guys, a couple of more viewer mail as I get my butt repositioned here on today's Coffee with Conti. Thank you for joining us. It says, Rick, I can't begin to convey to you how much your videos, your Tech Tuesdays, and your Coffee with Conti show have meant to me since I discovered them. You have rekindled my enthusiasm and excitement that I almost lost. I had the extreme pleasure of owning two Corvettes. One was a 10 Grand Sport, so I sold it to a friend so I could buy my second Corvette, which was a 17 Grand Sport. I'm sorry to say that the two cars together didn't have more than 9,000 miles on them. I sold the 17 shortly after the C8 came out with the intent of buying a white hardtop convertible. Then the Corvette world came to a, a screeching halt. I was told there was no guarantee when or if I would get one. I canceled my plan to buy one. I was disappointed. It was COVID time. I saw all the news, the plant shutdowns, the shortages, etc. I thought, I hardly ever drove the two Corvettes that I had, so what made me think that I was going to drive the new one? My wife was concerned because I had had recently sold my motorcycle, too, and I rode that. I had the tires in every one of the continental 48 states, as well as Alaska, all the southern Canadian provinces, and Nova Scotia. I'd be gone two to three weeks at a time on these trips, but my knees have gotten old, and I can no longer support an 800-pound motorcycle. Never trailered, always ridden, no matter the weather. I have the best wife a man could have. She understood my need to get away and decompress. I owned a small business, was very demanding with 60 employees, and I'm sure at times it compares to the stress that you're under as well, Rick. Now back to my point. She knows how important it is to have an outlet. I was at my local Chevy dealership about eight weeks ago helping my daughter buy a new car. This is a great dealership, a small store. I have a fantastic relationship with the salesman as well as the parts and the service department. I was sitting in my salesman's office, his name Ray, shooting the breeze while my daughter was out doing a few test drives. Ray was the one that helped facilitate the sale of my 17 and helping me with the purchase of a 2020 C8, so he knew it all. After being there about an hour and a half, he got to piddling around on the computer, and suddenly he said, I don't, I don't believe this. I, sa I said, what? He said, I didn't even know this was on order. It's a 2023 White Pearl Anniversary hardtop convertible. It's reached 3,000 status. I said, who's it for? He smiled and he said, well, no one's tagged on this order yet. I called my wife and she said, if you don't buy that, I'm going to come down there and buy that. You know, since that day, I discovered you and Chuck, and I can't tell you how much impact you've made on me. This is no longer just a nice car. It has gained so much more meaning than that. I give you, Rick, 100% credit for my new outlook and ownership of Corvette. Someday, I hope to come to Ohio, shake your hand, buy you and Chuck dinner, lunch, a candy bar, whatever. I just want to say thank you again for all the hard work you put into producing the videos. Your friend in Oklahoma, Dwayne. That's a great story. Dwayne, thanks for sharing that. I really appreciate that. You do have an awesome wife, man. See, I told you guys, some great emails. Again, for the folks that take the time to send these in and watch the channel and share these experiences and the feedback, it, it means so much to me to the point that I need to share this stuff with you guys. I really do. So thanks again for watching and listening. One more for you that shows you how small, that's crazy, how small this world really is and the coincidences that we have with one another through this car really truly is uh, super cool in my opinion. Rick, I wanted to introduce myself as I started watching your videos last fall. We were waiting to hear when our new 23 Z51 was going to be built. We finally received word that our new Corvette was going to be finished on December 1st. We're doing a museum delivery as well. 
We loaded up the truck and trailer, made our way down to Bowling Green, Kentucky the day after Christmas. We're so excited for the experience of picking up our new ride at the National Corvette Museum. Now, let me say this. The delivery went great, but it was interesting that our car never got onto the Corvette Boulevard prior to us getting there for the delivery. You know how it is the night before you're on the webcams and you're hawking, hey, hey, there we are, there we are. Hey, there's a security guard walking around. Yeah, yeah. You want, they never got a chance to see that. Talk about wondering what's going on, he said. So shortly after we arrived, the concierge asked us what color we had. And I said, we have the cafe metallic. And there was on the boulevard, nothing in sight. I started to think, is this a unicorn? Then the concierge mentioned that some of the stripes for our car just showed up the day before and they were still prepping the car. That makes perfect sense. Some of the stuff that we've been sharing with you guys on the channel. Now note this, Rick. Now listen to this. This is interesting and talk about a leap of faith. Note to this moment, I still have never had the opportunity to set my eyes in person on the caffeine metallic color. And here I was waiting to get my first look at my car and the color. And that can be nervous because you have a certain anticipation when you order the car off the visualizer and the Chevy build tool and you think that's what it's going to look like and then you see the car and you go, oh, that's what it, that's what it looks like? <laughs> All right, so let's continue this great email. Finally, after we started the paperwork, our vet did come rolling out of the prep area and there it was and it was stunning. Now, what I wanted to mention was, after we got back home from Wisconsin, I was paging through YouTube and I ran across your video from the museum visit just before Christmas. And in that episode, you were checking out cars in the holding lot for the National Corvette Museum. And yes, the first Cafe Metallic that was sitting in the corner, that, that was our car. I was so excited to see it in your video and my wife was shocked as well when I pointed it out to her. It was the perfect ending or beginning of our museum Corvette delivery experience. See, I told you guys, wow, what a small world. What a great way to connect through this car and through our channel. Thank you for that. This is Rick, keep up the great work. I hope we have the opportunity to meet someday. Thanks again, Tim in Wisconsin. Tim, thank you for watching the channel. Thanks for sharing that with us. That was pretty, they were all great today, weren't they? Viewer mail. Every time I do a viewer mail segment, I say this all the time and I don't do it, so I apologize. We do need to do this more often. Thanks for watching, guys. Support the channel by subscribing. Hit the bell notification, thumbs up this video, make some comments down below, and have a fantastic day in your Corvette.